This is the Kubrick's Rhino Tutorial 3. We will begin by selecting small objects millimeters. Then we will go into the right viewpoint and go to curve and select circle center radius. Then with object snap on select the origin at zero. We will then type in 10 for the radius. At this point we will go to solid, extrude planar curve, and straight. Make sure yes, delete input, yes cap, and yes, both sides are all selected. Then simply type in 100 for the length. It should now reach both sides of the plane. At this point, select the object, go to Edit, Copy, and Edit Paste to duplicate it. Then hide the object that is already selected and transform the other one with scale and 2D. Select this, the center of the circle as the origin point in the right viewpoint. Then type in 0 0.7 to scale. Then transform and rotate at this point you will go to the top viewpoint and type in 20 after selecting the origin. It should now be shifted 20 degrees and should be 0.7 times the size of the original. Now show all objects and you should have two intersecting cylinders. We will now go to solid and boolean split the two objects. By selecting the smaller cylinder, pressing enter, and then the larger cylinder, pressing enter. At this point, delete the lower left one and the one the smaller cylinder within the large cylinder. Now, select these objects and, and make them shaded. Now, select both objects and go to Groups and group them together. Now you can go to Solid, Box, and diagonal to create a box that will encase the two cylinders. The first corner will be negative 60, negative 60, negative 60, and the second will be 60, 60, and 60. Now you have a box surrounding the two. Now go to Solid, Difference, and select the box. After doing so, select Enter, and then select the cylinders. It should now create two holes on one side and one hole on the other, creating a pipe. Now go to Save As, and save it as T2 underscore 0 dot 3DM. We will then go to Mesh and From NURBS Object. Then select the box and press Enter. After going to Detailed Controls, 
Make all entries 0 except maximum aspect ratio at 1.0 and maximum distance, comma, edge to surface at 0 0.1. After doing so, make sure the pack textures box is unchecked. And press OK. After doing this, select the object and go to the Kubrix symbol. Go to convex blocking for the input file. Make sure it's t2 underscore zero dot stl. We will then minimize and go to the 3 deck software. We will then go to File, Open Item, and find our convex blocking mesh. It should be a 3 deck file, so make sure it says dot 3 deck. After this, we will go to the right and press block, and it should display it in block form. And there it is. At this point, you can display by region or other, or other and there are other options. And you can also change the transparency, which is pretty cool.